brew how to and today we're gonna be making a beehive. I love bees. So anytime I see a bee that's in need of some honey or water, um, I always try to help it out. Um, and I always keep some honey in my purse for, for hungry bees that I encounter on my walks. When it, my birthday came around, my friends uh, got me some bee themed things and a bee book called Turn this book into a beehive. And it's by Lynn Brunel and it's illustrated by Anna Maria Young. So this video is dedicated to my mother-in-law, Dooley. Um, her birthday is a couple of days after mine. So on her birthday, I was showing her this awesome book and then she was saying, you should make a video on how to make that beehive. So this is for her. So this book is specifically for mason bees who uh, like to make their homes in uh, these types of hides. What I also like about this book is that it has lots of facts and funny pictures and um, activities that you can do, experiments you can try um, that are all bee related. Oh, and then, and then in the back it had these, this is what you're gonna make the beehive out of. And then also you use the cover, you turn it inside out and that becomes a part of the home. And they also have like a template for the back of the home. Look at this. It's funny because it's, it's for children, but then it has like references to things that adults know. Like, I haven't seen Doctor Who, but I know that that's a weeping angel and those things are really scary. That's one reason why I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't want to see that monster stone thing come to life. Um, but then they have like um, chapters entitled, If You Make It, They Will Come, like in a field of dreams. It's just, the artwork is just delightful. And you just, like I said, it's so informational and I know it's for kids, but I love it. So, let's make one. So you take the cover and then you fold it like this and you try to match the grommets on the top. Um, also, they have a lot of cute pages with cute little drawings on them. Um, but anyways, back to the cover, you gotta fold it in on itself and I used tape to keep everything in place. I used a pen to make sure that I can line up the grommets correctly and then I taped it in place once I did that and then I cut out the backing and secured it again with tape. I was having a little bit of trouble keeping it together but you know duct tape fixes everything and in the end it, you know that looks good. The bees don't mind so that's how it looks when it's ready to go. Um, I, oh here's some more cute artwork that they have at the bottom of the pages it's like a little school and then I you gotta rip yeah I yeah I ripped that wrong but look I really can rip paper look at that perfect so then it's saying to roll it with a pencil and then put it inside the first time I did it I did it wrong I rolled it the wrong way but you gotta roll it this way which is is there you know like how that you fold a paper hot dog or hamburger style is there like a is that the same thing for rolling uh, a, a sheet of paper into a bee home i don't know so you roll it like this and then at one end you secure it with tape it's said to make like a co more of a cone but i was having a lot of trouble trying to get that going and you know it's okay and there you go you it fits like I said, the first time I did it, I did it wrong. It didn't fit. Uh, but anyway, so then you just do that about, I don't know, 30 more times. And then you start to fill in the bee home with all of those little individual, I guess, hotel rooms for the bees. And this is how it looks all done. Yay! So all I gotta do is hang it up outside and let the bees know there's a little resting place for it anytime they need it. So everybody, thank you for watching and being awesome. Yeah, I just did a pun right there. I did it, I did it, but <laughs> really thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye! Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.